Hey, today I want to talk about more a concept than actual code. I do have some code and I'm going to go through and explain it, but this heading says it all. When you're building a website, there is a difference between using an anchor tag, using something else, or using a button. If you want a user to move from one page to another, from one part of your interface to another part of your interface, use an anchor tag. Do not use a button. Now, I can make any element do anything I want. I can make any element look like any other element. Here, I have three buttons on my page. One's an anchor, one's a button, one's a span. Now, with my JavaScript, all three of these are going to do the same thing. So I'm pretending that I'm on a page looking at some item, and when I click on the button, I'm going to go to the details page for item number 17. So we're saying that we're looking at item 17 here. I click on this. I go to another page. It knows that I'm looking at item 17. Okay, great. I go to the second one. Same thing happens. I'm extracting 17 from the query string, writing that out. Click on the third one. Same thing happens. So with the JavaScript, I've made the exact same thing happen all three times. With my CSS, all three of them look identical. There is no difference visually between these. But if I right click on this one, nowhere in here do I see the choice to open in a new tab. Nowhere in here can I save the link. Same thing with the span. I don't get those options. But with the anchor, and this works on mobile as well, if you do a long press on a link, you will get these options to open it up in a new tab, save the link, copy the link. This is why we want to use anchor tags. Now, a button is great. If you're on the page, you're clicking it, you want something to, to happen on that page, use a button, go to town, it's great. Buttons are wonderful. But if you want to actually change the page, change the interface, make the user like they're go feel like they're going somewhere, that's when we need to use an anchor tag. So if I jump into my code, we can see the first one, it was an anchor tag. Second one's a button, third one is a span. All three of them have this data ref property, so I can get the ID. Let's say that I was going through some data, building my content. I embedded the ID in my HTML by doing this. Great, simple to do. They've all got the same class, which makes them all look the same. The anchor tag also has this href attribute, though, and this is where we're going to put this. So for those rare cases where somebody has HTML, um, sorry, JavaScript disabled, this is still going to work. For the other, say, 98% of the time when people don't have JavaScript disabled, this is still going to work. This anchor tag is going to take me to the other page. If there's a JavaScript error and the browser reverts to using just its default behaviors, this link is still going to take me to the next page. In my JavaScript, very simple script. In my DOM content loaded event, when the HTML is finished reading, I've got some code for the home page, code for the other page. On the home page where the three buttons are, I'm just going to call this handle click. If somebody clicks on the main area, I'm going to call this. On the other page, all I'm doing is I'm extracting the ID property from the query string and writing it out inside the span. If there's no ID property inside the query string, I'm going to send the user back to the home page. So we can test that. We come in here, I click on one of these. If I was to remove the ID from here and reload, it takes me back here. So that's all my code is doing for the second page. On the first page, the handle click. Well, inside of here, somebody clicks on the main element. I'm getting the ID of the thing that they actually clicked on. So we could do something special like, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff inside my main element. The user could be clicking on any one of these elements inside there. If this is the ID of the thing that you clicked on and I want to do something different, I can. My button, my span, whatever it is, whatever the different functionality is that you want attached to different elements, we can still do that. Down inside of here, I can check to see, okay, the thing they clicked on, was it an anchor? Was it a button? Was it a span? Did it have the right class name? If it did, 
get that data atri uh, data ref attribute. That's this one right here, this data ref attribute. If it's there, grab it. If you've got that, this is what we're changing the page's href to. So we're doing all of this for any of them. Now, right here, this is what my JavaScript does at the start. This stops when I click on the anchor tag. That's why I have this. This is only for the anchor tag. It does nothing for the button. It does nothing for the um, span. It's just for the anchor tag to stop the browser default navigation happening. And it lets me control the navigation with my JavaScript. So if I want to do tests, if I want to do something else on the page before I navigate, I can do that. But here, this is where I'm actually going to the next page. And it doesn't matter what I used. If I used an anchor, if I used a button, if I used a span, it could be any of those things. The functionality is the same. I'm still using the same attributes. The difference is if the person does the long press or the right click, that's when they get this extra built-in functionality. There's nothing we have to do. It's just there. It's built in. So the person can actually open this up in a new tab. And I'm sure you've been on some website at some point where you've been wanting to buy something or wanting to look at details for something and you've right clicked and you haven't had the option there to open it in a new tab. And it's because the developer used something other than an anchor tag. So this is why we always want to use anchor tags if the person is going to navigate to a different part of the interface or a different page entirely. Hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.